So I grew up in a little town called Adelaide in South Australia. Beautiful little place and uh, well it's actually not that small a town, it's um, the capital city of South Australia but when you've lived in Sydney this long most people refer to it as a small town. Yeah, just a, it was just a typical house we lived in, out in the burbs, had a nice backyard and it was my brother and I and my mum, just a single mum. And uh, yeah, when I was really young it all seemed pretty perfect, but as I got older I started to realise that something wasn't quite right and, and in fact mum was an alcoholic and she wasn't doing too well, she was doing it pretty tough. But the irony of that, I guess, is that she met some pretty interesting characters being, I guess, in someone a little bit desperate for help with raising two kids and just being lonely as well. And through these people that we met, they actually introduced us to music. Um, which was probably one of the best things that could have ever happened to Clayton and I. So we got introduced to Muddy Waters and Willie Dixon, Otis Spann, Pine Top Perkins, all sorts of great blues music. And we had an upright at home. So I guess it was only a matter of time before we started plonking away on the upright and, uh, and trying to mimic all that great piano blues, all that great blues piano. So Clayton is a bit older than me. He he obviously took it on pretty quickly and and became really good really quite fast. And I was there trying to keep up, I guess you could say, because I really did admire my brother. He meant the absolute world to me. And, uh, and I guess... People often say it's pretty weird having two keyboard players in the same family, but you think about it, there's so many, there's so many brothers that play guitar, brothers that play drums or, or guitar and bass or, or both sing or whatever. I don't really see it as anything strange at all because I looked up to my brother and that's, I saw him being so fantastic at something that that's what I wanted to do and ultimately that's what I did. Yeah. So anyway, we eventually, uh, it eventually all got a bit too full on in Adelaide with mum, even though she did the best she could supporting us whilst having her, what they call a disease these days, alcoholism. It's, um, yeah, it's treated more like a disease, but unfortunately it, it kind of got a bit too hard and, and through year 12, I ended up leaving and going to Sydney. We ended up leaving going to my dad and doing my last year of school with my dad. And then I, soon after I went to Sydney, Clayton had already been there for a few years. So that was pretty handy and quickly started touring around. Um, and now here I am now rocking out as best I can still after I think that was about 15 years ago. <laughs>